What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, AKA Mr. Grow It, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I wanna talk about security cameras in your grow space, uh, specifically the light that security cameras admit. So I had a grower reach out to me recently and he had mentioned that he has security cameras in his grow tent and he swears that his plants went hermy because of the security camera, the light that it emits. I personally do not come across this and I don't really have the knowledge to know whether or not this type of light from security cameras will impact plant growth or not. So I figured I'd reach out to a lighting expert and get their opinion on it. So I hit up Dan from the Green Sunshine Company and got him onto a Zoom call and here's what he had to say. Okay, Dan, how's it going? Thanks for joining me tonight. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming on. Um, I got a good lighting question for you. Something that might actually stump oh, you. I love lighting questions. So I, I've had somebody reach out to me quite recently, and his plants uh, turned out to be a hermaphrodite plant. And what his theory is is um, he recently found out that his security cameras that he has in his grow emit light. So a lot of people don't know that security cameras, they admit light, IR light, infrared light is what they admit. He is uh, confident that that turned his plants to be a hermaphrodite. Now I want to reach out to you because you in particular, because you own the Green Sunshine Company, you have uh, a couple different grow lights. And one thing that you're real known for, and it's on your website, is the Emerson effect. And the Emerson effect, for those that don't know, is basically it's a combination of IR light as well as other lights on the spectrum uh, results in faster growth, uh, photosynthesis. But IR alone, I'm not sure if that would actually trigger the plant to do anything. So I want to kind of reach out to you today and get your uh, thoughts on that one. Sure. Yeah, that's a really great question because it's going to help you understand how plants respond to light. And what I think is important to understand is the plant has several systems inside of it that may get triggered by light. So you might think, hey, we're giving the plant light and like it is going to respond. The plant actually has several systems inside of it that will you know, respond to light, like whether it knows it's going to sleep, uh, using it as energy to grow, it will respond to it like a signal and also use it as energy. So there's a few different things that are going on here. So. So, so let's start with photosynthesis. So photosynthesis, um, pretty much if you have a broad range of light, you know, from blue, from UV to infrared, if it's joined with other colors, it will create growth. Um, on its own, only the colors in the PAR range uh, will create growth if it's a single color. So uh, if I was looking at a security camera, um, if it would affect growth or not, it probably would not just in terms of an intensity standpoint. So it may not be significant for any sort of growth just because it's not significant. Um, the other thing that touches on uh, your, your viewer's question was the hermaphroditing. And uh, there we're getting into the day-night system. Okay, so, and that's the phytochrome system. So that is sensitive to mostly blue light and red light. So that's exactly why you can go into your grow room with the green light and your plants uh, don't wake up because that green light is, is not picked up by that system. So that system doesn't even see it and it, it doesn't even know there's any light. It may use that green light for photosynthesis, but it may not wake up. So the green light's interesting like that. Same goes for infrared light. It does not uh, wake up the phytochrome uh, system. So, and it's actually used, infrared light is used to put plants to sleep faster. So if you, you, can, you can buy like infrared pucks and turn them on right after your lights turn off and it'll actually help your plants go to sleep faster. Uh, we won't get into the specifics. So infrared at night is actually a good thing. Like if you ever have like a light flash in your room, you want to dose your plants with infrared so it'll make them go to sleep even faster. So um, I took a, uh, you asked me this question ahead of time and I, you gave me a heads up and I actually went back here into our office and I took a spectro, uh, uh, I have a little Apogee instruments I took a reading here and you can see it's in the like 780 range. Um, in grow lights, normally uh, what's effective for growth is like, you know, 700, 720, 740. And then right after that, it really drops off. So this wouldn't really affect um, growth so much. Um, it, I am actually not sure if this would affect the phytochrome system. So if this alone was in your grow room, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Now, if your light had like 
actually, you, you, when you were viewing it, it had any visible light, that would be bad, especially if it was blue light, because generally blue LEDs are uh, very intense, and that is the that is the uh, signal that your plant actually looks for. Like that's the truest signal your plant looks for for the presence of light. So blue light is very bad for any sort of day night thing. So in short, if you look at your security camera and you can't visibly see any light, you're probably okay. Uh, and if you see light, definitely cover it up um, and then know that your infrared sensor might be somewhere else. So there's two, two sources of light, like the indicator of the saying it's on or the infrared sensor that lets you have night vision. So hopefully that answers the question. Uh, did I miss anything, Chris? Do you have, do you have any questions that I might have uh, missed? No, but I do have a follow-up question that brings up a good point. So you said okay. any other light on top of that, right? So if there's a status light on the actual piece of equipment, and that's yeah. one thing that I've run into before is I actually had a status light for my humidifier and yeah. for my heater. I have to cover them up. So those, yeah. just to confirm, those will actually cause your plants to hear me out if the, those it were could. to go towards, um, you know, during the dark period. Yeah, you, you never know. So basically, always cover, cover those up because, like, even if it doesn't, like, why take the chance? So, yeah, cover those uh, status indicators up, especially if it's blue. Cool. That's pretty much it. Thanks, Dan. I really appreciate right. the, uh, your Thanks, time. Thanks, Chris. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. Okay, so there you have it. Hopefully this information has helped out some of you who are wondering about this. And I'd love to know in the comment section, for those of you who have security cameras in your grow space, uh, have you ever had plants herm from them or you think have hermed from it? Let me know down in the comment section below. For those of you who need one, I do have a coupon code for the Green Sunshine Company. Anything on their website, use coupon code Mr. Grow It, and you can get a percentage off. And by the time this video is released, they have just released their V3 version of their grow lights, the Electric Sky Grow Light. I'll link it down in the description section below, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.